Hi friends, today we will talk about series and solve some problems on this topic. So first of all, let's start with shifting in, shifting the index. <coughs> first question, perform an index shift so that the following series starts at n is equal to 3. As you know from this, as you can see easily from the <coughs> example that, and the index starts with 1, but we need to shift it and the new series will start with 3. Uh, there really isn't all much into this problem. Just remember that in this case we will need to increase the initial value uh, of the index by uh, 2. So it will start uh, at n is equal to 3 and this means that all the n's uh, is the series terms will need to decrease the same amount okay doing this gives the following sequence n start with 1 to infinity n oh, sorry 2 to the n minus 3, 1 minus n is equal to, again, sum n start with 3 to infinity and we will need to decrease it n minus 2 2 to the n minus 2 negative 3 1 minus n minus 2 okay and it's equal to And start with 3 to infinity n minus 2 2 to the n minus 2 minus 3 3 minus n and this is uh, our new shifted indexed uh, series when replacing n with n minus 2, make sure to add in parentheses where needed to preserve coefficients and minus signs. And the second type of the um, examples is stripping out the first three terms or first uh, n terms from the series. Okay. If we want uh, to do this, the solution is, remember that when we say we are going to strip out terms from a series, we are not really getting rid of them. Uh, all we are doing is writing the first few terms of the series as a summation in front of the series. And so for this series, we need write down uh, and we need um, the series stripping up the first three terms gives us 2 to the negative n n square plus 1 if we um, plug 1 here we will get 2 to the negative 1 1 square plus 1 again plus 2 to the negative 2 2 square plus 1 and plus 2 to the negative 3 3 square plus 1 and the remaining series as you know we use the first um, three terms here 
we need to start the new series uh, with the index 4, yes? n is equal to 4 to infinity, 2 to the negative n, n squared plus 1. And if we uh, solve this, we will get 5 over 16 plus and start from 1 to infinity, 2 to the negative n, n squared plus 1. This is the solution. Next question. Given that the series uh, start with the index 0 to infinity, 1 over n cubed plus 1 is equal to 1.6865. Determine the value of this uh, series. So step 1. First, notice that if we strip out the first two uh, terms from the series that starts at n is equal to 0, the result will involve a series that starts at n is equal to 2. Doing this gives us the series n start with 0 to infinity, 1 over n cubed plus 1. We just need to strip out first two uh, elements. And it starts with 0, so we need to plug 0 here. 0 cubed plus 1 and plus 1 over 1 cubed plus 1 plus the remaining part of the sequence. We used first two uh, elements and the remaining is start, uh, the remaining series starts with 2 to infinity. 1 over n cubed plus 1. And uh, if we calculate this part, we will get 3 over 2 plus n starts to with 2 to infinity, 1 over n cubed plus 1. So now, uh, for this situation, we are given the value of the series that starts uh, at n is equal to 0 and are asked to det determine the value of the series that starts <coughs> at n is equal to 2. To do this, uh, all we need to do is plug in the noun value of the series that starts at n is equal to 0 into the equation above, into this equation, and uh, solve the value of the series that starts uh, at n is equal to 2. Uh, this gives us um, 1.6865 is equal to 3 over 2 plus series n start with 2 to infinity 1 over n cubed plus 1 and we will get that the the series n starts with 2 to infinity, 1 over n cubed plus 1 is equal to 1.6865 minus 3 over 2. And the result is 0 0.1865. That's our result. And finally, uh, compute the first three terms in the sequence of partial sums for the following series. Uh, solution. Remember that the nth term in the sequence of partial sums is just the sum of uh, the first uh, n terms of the series. So, computing the first three terms in the sequence of partial sums is pretty simple. Uh, 
Uh, here is the work for this program. S1 is equal to 1 times 2 to the 1. This is equal to 2. S2 is equal 1 times 2 to the 1 plus 2 times 2 to the 2. And this is equal to 10. And S3 is equal to, again, 1 times 2 to the 1 plus 2 times 2 to the 2 plus 3 times 2 to the 3. This is equal to 34. That's all. This is our result. Hope you can understand all the solved problems, but if you have any question, please let me know. Bye-bye.